A 24-year-old man burns his hand after grasping the handle of a hot pan while preparing a meal. Several minutes later, both the initial bun and the area around it are red without blistering. When he presses on the bum, the tissue blanches. The question is, which of the following is most likely contributing to the reaction observed in this patient? Your options are choice A. Gaps between endothelial cells in venules. Choice B. Histamine release from mast cells. Choice C. Neutrophil extravasation and degranulation. Choice D. PDGF mediated vascular proliferation. Choice E. Prostaglandins produced by platelets. Type your answer in the comment box. Congratulations if your answer is B, which is histamine release from mast cells. This patient has erythema that blanches without blistering, which is characteristic of a superficial burn. Burn wounds are classified according to depth based on which layers of cutaneous and subcutaneous tissues are damaged. Superficial burns damage only the epidermis. Superficial partial thickness burns damage the epidermis and upper dermis. Deep partial thickness burns damage the epidermis and most of the dermis. Full thickness bums damage the entire dermis and may extend into the fat muscle. Occur due to both direct tissue damage and inflammatory mediators released from epidermal and immune release of histamine and other preformed vasoactive mediators from mast cells in the minutes following a burn leads to dilation of superficial skin capillaries. This results in blanching erythema, such that temporary whitening with pressure due to capillary collapse that extends to the area surrounding the initial bump. Deeper, example partial thickness burns affect dermal structures such as nerve endings and venules in addition to the epidermis. Nerve damage can lead to loss of sensation while damage to venules can result in fluid extravasation through gaps between injured venule endothelial cells. The result is a blister foamed from a collection of serous fluid between the dermis and epidermis. If you chose any option other than B, you were... Let's briefly discuss the other options. Both choices C and E are incorrect answer because platelets and neutrophils play an important role in healing after a thermal burn by releasing prostaglandins, cytokines, and growth factors that stimulate increased blood flow, inflammation, and tissue growth. Although both cells contribute to the erythema in and around a bum wound, these changes occur here as to days after the burn rather than minutes after, as in this patient. Choice D cannot be the answer because platelet-derived growth factor, PDGF, is released by platelets, macrophages, and endothelial cells and plays an important role in generating the vascular and fibroblast proliferation needed for normal wound healing over the days to weeks following the initial injury. If you're finding this difficult to understand, consider watching this episode again.